Welcome to Lab 101. Today we're going to be talking about the Palo Alto setting up uh, objects, requires address, address groups, regions, and applications we're going to be talking about. And from there, once we have that configured, we'll go to the next step and talk about creating uh, ACLs or policies. So the first step, I want to show you address schemes. So under the object tab, we have address and address groups. So the first thing we're going to do is take our addresses and go here and click add. We can give it a name. So let's say, uh, an example, I'm going to say home nut. And then here we can go in here and put the IP address range in there. And we can put a subnet mask in there. So we can do a couple different choices. We can do an IP net mask, a range, dynamic, and fully qualified names. So that's an example of one object. Here we can say the next one, let's say www, and then we can put a description in there. And 192.168, say it is my web server, and so on and so on. Let's say I have uh, a Moodle server. And let's say that's dot seven. So we're just doing individual addresses there. So like an example, the Moodle and the web server both have the same thing in common. They use HTTP and HTTP. Yes. So, like an example, we'll take as a group, let's say we'll make this our home web, and then from down here, we'll just click add, and then we can just scroll through and pick up all our addresses. So, it's pretty straightforward making groups. In regions, let's say you want to, you go to out to like, you know, my block list, and let's say you're wanting to block a, a block of IPs or whatever, you can go here, you can download the file, turn around, and import it in here. So the same thing, we can go in here and say, Okay, now that we have that list, we turn around and pop that in there. If we sat there, we could just and then copy the IP addresses in there as, as they come. And then just add. And then once you're done, hit OK. So I just also want to show you something here. Uh, you may have noticed that this commit had highlighted so that means we have made some changes and they're not been saved. So we want to go ahead and hit commit. And then we're going to say, sure, we can go in advance. So here it's going to show you what it's going to do. It's going to include the device and network configuration or just include policy and objects. So you can choose which one you want to commit. And then you can even hit preview and see. And then hit OK. It's going to take a moment for it to apply. Just depending on which model you have, uh, 3000 apply pretty quick. So is the virtuals. The 500s and the 2000s are kind of slow. So we can just hit close and let that truck on down. So the next thing I want to go over is applications. So in applications here, you can see we have different categories. We have categories, subcategories, technologies, risk level, characteristics. So you can see there's 47 pages of app IDs. There's roughly 1,800 some app IDs. So you can search by like an example. We can type in the word Facebook. And then here it's going to show us all the different Facebook app IDs that belong to Facebook categories, subcategories, the risk levels, the 
technology if it's a browser app so on and so on so you can turn around and create your own filters so app groups so we can turn around and create a group same thing just by going add giving it a name so let's say we want to do Facebook chat and mail okay so now we're gonna save this as a group app ID so that's relatively pretty easy to create a group we can make another group just give it a name, whatever. We can, uh, like an example, do www, and then let's turn around and set up. So here you can see this. When you get this red squiggly line, this means that it's a blank line, or or the app ID I typed in there didn't work. So, so let's just pick something and you don't have to have more than one group to be an app ID so you can create filters groups you can put groups inside groups uh, services it's where you would make your own services so if you're going to do by port so if there's no app ID that you have you could turn around and create your own, you know, service. Like here, you can see, like we have HTTP. We got, you know, the name, type of protocol, TCP, UDP, what ports, separated by, you know, commas. So that's a quick, easy way to make, you know, our set of ports. All right. So that concludes this part of the uh, lecture. Thanks for watching. Bye.